Hi, I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to install Postmarket OS on your OnePlus 6. The first thing you need to do is of course install PM Bootstrap. Check out the Postmarket OS website for instructions. Now we can run PM Bootstrap init to set up our environment and pick which device we're building for. We want to pick the Edge channel as that's where the OnePlus 6 packages are. Select OnePlus as the vendor and Enchilada as the device. If you're building for the OnePlus 6T, you will of course pick Fajita instead. We want to say yes to extra firmware, as without that a large amount of functionality will be unavailable, such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and accelerated graphics. I'll be choosing Fosh as the user interface, although pretty much any of the options there will work reasonably well on the OnePlus 6. Most of the rest of these options can be left as their default values. I personally choose these extra packages as they help with development, and of course NeoFetch is a must have. Again we can leave these as their defaults, hit enter a few more times and we're done. Now we can run a PM Bootstrap install to build a root file system. We need to use the dash dash split option to tell PM Bootstrap to separate the rootfs and initramfs extra partitions, as we won't actually be using the default initramfs. We'll also be running PM Bootstrap export. This basically just creates sim links for us in slash temp that we can then access to copy the rootfs over to the device. With our install underway, depending on the speed of your computer and internet, it's time to either go and make a coffee, or perhaps check out my Twitter, link below. This process is creating an Alpine root file system and installing all of the postmarket OS packages, as well as packages for our device, including compiling the kernel. I'll speed it up, so you don't have to sit and watch it with me. If you'd like to see more details about exactly what is happening, you can open a new terminal and run PM Bootstrap log. At around this point, you'll be prompted to pick a password for your user. I'll pick 1234. It's worth pointing out that if your password is non-numeric, that is, contains letters or symbols, you won't be able to unlock your device in Fosh or Plasma Mobile. This issue is known about and being worked on upstream. Right now, the root of S has been created and PM Bootstrap is copying it over to a new ext4 image. Then it's exporting the image so that we can access it from our host. This will be needed for the next step. Okay, we're done. Now that we've built our new root file system, it's time to install it to the device. Here you can see the sim links that PM Bootstrap created for us to the root file system and the Android boot image that we're going to be flashing. I'll be using my Postmarket OS installer in this example. Let me know if you'd like me to show you some other methods too in the future. Creating a flashable zip file is extremely straightforward with my installer. It fetches all of the information it needs from PM Bootstrap. We specify SDA17 as the partition to install to. On the OnePlus 6 and 6T, this is the user data partition. Don't worry though, as it doesn't wipe the partition, it simply puts the rootfs in a folder called .stowaways. I specify the A slot as the slot I want to install to. This can be changed afterwards by simply renaming the file. The installer has generated a custom initramfs, which is capable of using the ext4 image file as the root file system. It will then generate a boot image using the kernel from PM Bootstrap, and finally pack it up along with the rootfs that we built earlier into a flashable zip file. While it finishes, you can reboot your device into TWRP recovery and look at the reboot screen to see your current slot. This is the slot that your current system is installed to. Before flashing Postmarket OS, you can rename the file to ensure that it installs to the inactive slot and therefore won't interfere with your existing system. Now I'll boot my device into TWRP and push the new zip file with ADB. Then I can use ADB shell to install the zip. You can of course do this on device instead. The install script will unpack the rootfs and boot image. It then flashes the new boot image with our mainline kernel and erases the DTBO partition. That last step is important as otherwise the bootloader would apply device tree overlays which are not compatible with the mainline kernel and it would fail to boot. The installer has also put us on the crack slot for postmarket OS so we can simply reboot the device and we're done. I can run dmessage w on my host to watch for USB connected events and we'll be able to see the device boot. Right now you should see the kernel booting on your screen and eventually you'll end up at the lock screen. Make sure you didn't forget the password you picked earlier. Here I'll SSH into my device and you can see we're running Linux 5.11 and of course here's NeoFetch. I hope you enjoyed this quick guide to installing Postmarket OS for your device. If you'd like to avoid the hassle of building it yourself, I do release pre-built zips on a semi-regular basis. Links to everything can be found in the description. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and give this video a like. The feedback really means a lot to me. Also, a quick reminder, I'll be streaming tomorrow, that is Thursday the 4th of March, while I work on some new mainline endeavors. I'd love it if you would come and join me. Thanks for watching.